So you'd like to learn how to produce a painting just like this? In today's session, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And in today's video we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide of how to produce a beautiful sunset painting of Cottesloe Beach. Cottesloe Beach is one of Perth's most famous beaches and we get the most spectacular sunsets here. So for today's painting I'm going to go straight on with the colours. All I'm using is simply a warm red, so I'm basically going straight onto the canvas with this because in a moment I'm actually going to use a sponge to blend this through. If you haven't seen this video before guys I have actually done this as a separate video at the beginning where I'm just showing you how to do a sunset painting with a sponge so I'll leave a link below if you want to just see that as a separate video but in this video I'm actually going to show you the whole process on how to produce this beach painting. So here I'm just using a cool yellow again just putting some dabs around or straight onto the canvas and then we're just finishing off with a titanium white. Now if you've never used a sponge before guys I cannot recommend them enough. They are so so useful when it comes to distributing paint whether it's just a flat color so for example if this was going to be red all the way around it'd be really perfect to use a sponge but they're also just as handy when it comes to blending too. One top tip if you are using sponges guys always have three or four to hand just so that they get loaded up with paint really quickly so it's really good just to have a few spare ones so you can keep blending the paint if you get too much pigment onto the sponge. If you haven't already guys, please do subscribe. This is a great channel if you're interested in top tips. If you're a beginner artist, if you're a more senior artist perhaps who's just trying to do acrylic painting for the first time, you do get weekly top tips on things that's really gonna help you become a better painter. So rather than talking you through the whole of this video, I'm just going to talk you through the actual tools that you need. Now you've got the paints. The extra paint we're going to be adding on in a moment, particularly when we're doing some of the fine detail, is you will need some black and I've actually gone with the warm blue as well. Brushes wise, you're only going to need uh, just three simple brushes, which is a fine detail brush, which is going to be the vast majority of the painting. Um, I just used a flathead brush as well to do some of the beach. And you will need a foam brush because they are so easy when it comes to painting trees. If you haven't got a foam brush, you can actually use the corner of the sponge that you've just used for the background. So I'll put some nice background music on and enjoy the video.
So there you have it guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video where we've shown you a step-by-step -step tutorial guide on how to produce a painting just like this. The whole point of these videos is to show you guys how simple painting can be just with a few techniques that you pick up. If you have enjoyed the video then please do hit that like button just below as it really does help our channel and if you'd like to see some more weekly top tips or art ideas just like this one hit the subscription button and notification bell just below. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.